So where does this leave us? Basically, Rishi Sunak still under pressure to raise benefits after um, uh, rather than cut them. <sighs> the politics of this, I think, are changing quite dramatically. Bill Balkett, political reporter at Reaction Life, joins me now to see if my assessment bears any reality, but more importantly, learn what his is. Bill, hi. Good evening, Nick. Well, now, Bill, I sense Labour, if they can stop navel gazing and uh, looking at their own voting systems and things, could really be onto something if they make the cost of living and the government's perceived failure to manage it their key political opportunity. Is this a weak, pot, weak spot for the government? And I think we've just lost Bill there. So let's try again. Bill, how are you doing? Are you still with us? Yes, I am. Oh, great. Did you hear that question, Bill? Uh, it just cut off at that moment. OK, well, basically what I'm asking is Labour um, have started to talk about the cost of living. They've started to identify um, the, the huge problems. They've had a gift, if you like, this week politically. Is this going to be a central platform for them, do you think, if they can stop navel gazing about how they vote for their leaders? And are the Conservatives genuinely vulnerable uh, to the cost of living issue now? Well, Labour can see this as an opportunity. I mean, uh, today, Angela Rayner uh, made her big speech at Labour conference, uh, giving a progressive outlook for her party, talking about um, fair pay, workers' rights. Uh, and with Starmer's speech, um, there is potentially going to be this vision that we've been hoping for a long time um, about where their stance is going to be on the economy, particularly in regards to coronavirus. However, is it a potential threat for the Conservative Party? I don't really see so. So obviously the economy is such a huge issue for the electorate. Uh, if you look at the most recent uh, Delta poll um, uh, survey, coronavirus is still the big issue. But then there's also uh, the economy that see it as a top three issue. Mm. But um, the public, even though they lean left or on the um, generally lean left when it comes to um, economics, it, it, ha it hasn't really affected the Conservative Party in terms of their polling, uh, what with the uh, increase in national insurance, obviously Rishi soon that mm. has also increased corporation tax. So if they were to increase benefits, I don't see how much of a threat that would pose, at least in the short term, for the Conservative Party and their favourability among the electorate.